The talents for generals in Great Conquer Rome are an important new feature in the game, which kind of is an addition to the skills, because in European War 6, for example, you had five skills, now you only go up to four, but you have the talents, which is a feature which has to be looked at, and let's rate the best of them. Obviously, this is going from bottom to top. And at the worst talent, we have Repair. Honestly, I think this talent is so bad. You get extra 5% recovery of defense when Legion Station is hit. Yeah, I mean, it's okay for defending, but do you really want to be defending that much or rather attack and repair? I don't see the point in this skill. Seems pretty useless. Don't. Don't try to have your general with this skill. The next trophy, uh, the next talent is a very interesting watch. As I've never yet seen in a easy tech game i think is that there's a chance to gain resources when destroying units gunning course is like one of the only guys who has it if i even could think of it uh seem i mean it's kind of hard to judge i don't know how much resources you get but overall it seems pretty useless if it gives little i mean i haven't yet tested it but it seems pretty useless overall since you want your generals to go kill not to like gain <laughs> gain resources and usually anyway only weak generals have this one so you won't really destroy and kill a lot of units so pretty useless the next talent, which you can see here at Pinarios, is Fireproof. So if you if you have the Fireproof talent, then you get no damage when your units are on fire, when Grace is on fire. But guess what? There's this one amazing skill which just lets you not be on fire and does walk around it. Now the next skill, this one will be rank uh, 14, is the ta uh, Scouting talent. You get a plus one view, which uh, I don't think is super bad, but ugh. Do you really need to have a scouting kind of general or more like a damage monster? I think it's more of a damage thing, so scouting gets pretty low ranking. The next talent I see is the veteran talent, that is, um, legions have one rank higher if they increase. It seems okay ish, but it's only good for the beginning. Long term, it's again a bad skill. It's, yeah, I don't rate it. A similar talent to this one is the is the ace talent that is legion experience gained in the combat 50%. It's similar, you rank up faster, but this one is more consistent. The other one just rank up once. Here you rank up consistently faster, which I rate higher, but again, not amazing. The next talent, which is at rank 11, is brave. You get 50% higher crit chance if you attack an enemy who has larger force. Overall, I'm again not a fan of the attacking larger forces. That means you just have to have generals on low strengths or one unit which means they die fast so i mean they can maybe dish out damage like mad for a turn or two but that's it so it's pretty pretty bad anyways is next we have a rank 10 century which is a 15 percent chance of increasing defense i don't know how high the defense increase but only 15 percent seems pretty low for defense i'd prefer something more consistent so rank 10 and rank 9 which is perfectly in the middle the war skills we have geography which basically means the units can go a lot far further. Seems kind of useful, similar to Marge, actually quite good, but nothing too amazing. I prefer damage increases. And the last non-like damage increase thingy is Sentry. You reduce 8% damage of enemy counterattack, so if you attack, you, don't get, you get less damage. It's super consistent. You always get less damage. Seems okay for defensive skill. Like probably the best defensive skill, but I again wouldn't choose that one. At rank 7 we have Fearless. The attack will not decrease after a uh, legion is damaged, which is quite cool. So the guy is always pumping out a lot of damage, but I'm not quite sure if this counts if you like have once... Let's say you put like 4 units into one single unit, or 5 even. Does it then stay at that level, or is it always per health of a unit? I'm not sure, but it seems quite useful overall, let's be honest. The next one is Inspire, and that is that the Legion's moral always remains high, not just it, the guy can get encircled, that guy can get encircled, that message, the guy can get encircled, and his moral always stay high, which seems pretty useful, you can get, you can fully just rush somebody in, it doesn't matter how encircled he gets, for example, Comios, I think it's pretty, pretty good. Now, in comparison, to Brave, where you get increase for attacking a larger army, Scare actually gives you a higher increase of critical attack by 20% if you attack a smaller force. Now that ties into the point before, you want to have a large army which attacks a smaller one. That's why you can still keep uh, the general better sustained. It just makes so much more sense than running on a very small 
uh, health general so i prefer this one seems pretty useful some good damage increase good skill i'd say and at number four we have the one of the most uh, readily available ones is the tactics so for example archer tactics it gives you 10% more critical attack on commanding your right unit. So he has tactics, Huo has tactics, just for every unit, pretty useful. The third best skill, which sadly isn't available to the best generals, is, is Rumor. 20% chance to lower the enemy's moral. If you manage to hit some, some guys with like more than one Rumor attack, you can instantly decrease its uh, the moral on two times, and then you can still encircle them, which right makes them not be able to fight back so this skill has a lot of potential sadly not to go generals have it but the skill i really really like it at number two we have the skill of your commander this is a very very good skill legions will never fall into chaos so you can get your moral decrease but you can never get you can never not be able to attack which is a good immunity and you have plus three mobility two different kinds of plus Benefits, super good skill, only gets beaten by one. And that that one skill is very rare and only, only in four generals, which is the master skill. So in the surrounding two grids, so two squares where units can stand in, uh, your the attack of the respective similar unit is raised by 15%, where you have Cleopatra has it, and all the in-app purchases have also the got the master skill. Such a good skill makes everything around them stronger, especially Cleopatra seems super useful since she most anyway fights, fights in water and everybody around her in water gets so strong. So master skill, as always, best skill, yeah, uh, best talent. Tell me if you think it's okay, I mean with about 17, 18 um, talents, there is a lot of room for error, tell me if I got something wrong, if I underestimated one or two, or overestimated them maybe, I'd be interested. Um, have a nice and bye!